Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are going to do a alcohol ink swirl on a black base. I have my heat gun ready. I have my epoxy mixed. I am going to put my touch of neon diamond dust cheat in the base. Um, we are going to further test the Unicone Art Alcohol Ink set that I purchased from Amazon. These were not gifted to me. I just, you know me, I like inks and I like to try different ones. Uh, one thing I don't like about this set is, let me see if I can even get this out of here. It comes with a color list with the, um, like the color code that's on the top of the bottles. That kind of drives me nuts. I would much rather these be labeled on the bottle. So, uh, I'll give you the name for now, but as soon as these get separated from this card, it's game over. It's going to be like, oh, this is a red, this is a green, this is a blue. Um, but I'm going to put my touch of neon in. And um, I'm going to use a fair amount. Close to a full spoon is what I put in there. Um, but uh, you guys know how long I've been using this one. I've still got a long time to go on this little pot. So... I just really love the way this one looks on the black. I'm going to move my heat gun over for just a minute. Um, so anyways, I'm going to get on to picking my colors while this spins a minute. I'm going to use just greens, blues, and purples. I'm not sure how the green is going to work over the top of this, but I only have one purple in this package. So I'm going to use um, the raspberry. I would have called that magenta, but as my second purple and I'm going to use orchid as my other purple. I'm going to use the um see this is a pain. This one's the tropical. This one's grass. And then I'm going to use the cobalt blue and I think I'm going to go with the aqua. So those will be my two blues. I'm going to use the raspberry, like I said, as a purple. So I'm going to do green to purple. And we'll see what we have. I almost picked up my purple first. But I'm going to use like the lighter, the darker, the lighter, the darker, the lighter, the darker. I only want to put a couple drops of each on. You might not be able to see them at first because we are going to come in with white. So, I do think these inks are a little bit thinner than some of the other inks, and uh, honestly, this is still not going to be a super fair test of them. I'm really not going to be able to test them fairly till I just do an actual rainbow swirl or a swirl on a white base. But. Um, this was just, like I said, I like inks and I ordered them with my own funds to test them. I go through a lot of like red and orange and yellow because I do a lot of the fire tumblers. So I'm constantly buying sets to test mainly so I can have those colors. And I think I'm going to do another one of these, um, maybe as soon as I'm done with this one, for another day where I use the reds, the red, orange, and yellow. I don't think I have as many of those 
in the cup in the box I think I only have one of each but I kind of want to use them I had to pause you a minute because I couldn't find my pinata white ink and uh, I finally found my refill bottle which is looking a little grody probably on its way out after this film but I realized that oh my god I'm like out so yikes um so I need to put that on my Amazon list but hopefully it didn't take me too long messing around and this will work I'm just going to start dripping this over the color. Normally I'm like immediate. And I am going to do the next one immediately because I wanted to, with this, actually put down the white and drip the color on top of the white. So I had better control of where the white went. And I just... That whole idea went right out of my head. Because I've been thinking about this cup for like a week now since things showed up. So, yeah, there's that. So, um, be looking for the other colors done the opposite way shortly. I'm going to grab my heat gun. It's going to get loud. I'm not going so much for heat as blowing to start. I'm also going to move this mat out of the way so I can tilt if I desire. So... I'm going to turn my fan up. I'm going to leave the heat at like a medium heat. And I'm going to see if I can get this moving or if I've missed my window. I think I'm going to let that be at this point. Um, I'm going to bring it back in frame for you, I guess. I'm going to uh, figure out some kind of freaking decal for this. I am. You guys get like annoyed when I don't finish a cup, but sometimes I just want to make the cup for the technique and I don't really have a concept in my head for it. Um, so, like, this is the first one I used these inks on. 
So I'm going to try and come up with a decal for this one and this one. And when I come back, I will show you the original one completed as well as this one. And uh, I really like it. I, I don't know. I just, I, I draw a blank with decals. So, because I get bored with the same old, same old thing. So, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to put on this once it's dry. And I think it is absolutely beautiful, actually. Um, it's very spacey and earthy, so maybe we'll come up with something like that. And this one is clearly going to get some kind of ocean saying. So, I already started looking for those the other day. Okay, so as promised, I am coming back in to decal this one, and then we'll get it back to the turner. And I do have, also as promised, you'll get to see this one finished up. So we're going to get them both decaled. I already have them cut, so this should be, I don't think I burnished this one. So I went with the earth laughs and flowers because I felt like this ended up very earthy in the end and I had a hard time picking color so I went with purple just because there's not as much purple on here. So and this did have a little like spray of weeds that I ended up trimming out because it was so fine. I think my blade and my Cricut's about shot. So. I am. Um, and none of my stores have the regular um, white cat blades right now. I've looked and looked and looked and I keep forgetting to order one. I do have generic blades, but I really prefer the actual Cricut blades. So, the earth laughs and flowers. I think that's fitting for this one. Maybe. And then this beauty is going to get the voice of the ocean speaks to the soul. This one I struggled with. Uh, these letters are so fine. But I got it to work. Barely. But I got it. I had to cut the blue a second time um, to have this two. So I'm going to put it, I think, right here. And I cut the offset at... <sighs> My Cricut's doing that thing with the offset again. But I do believe this is a point one two, if I recall correctly. This one, I think, is a point one, which this was supposed to be the same, but this one looks slightly larger, so who knows? It just does what it wants. So, there you go. Absolutely love them. This one came out absolutely gorgeous. Um... <laughs> Full disclosure, and I don't know that the video is ever going to make it public, I told you I wanted to do one with the yellow, red, and orange. Well, I did that, and it is probably the ugliest cup I have ever made, so I'm not sure that it's going to get kept, figured out a fix, tossed, stripped. It won't get tossed, but it may go to the strip bin for a while.